Have you ever felt? Are you listening? It's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva and I'm back with you with episode 2 of Look Alike where I do a video showing my nails as well as an eyeshadow look maybe a total face look to match the nails so this was recommended to me by It's Lori's Life and in the very first video that I did I let everyone know that and I just want to say thank you because it is going to be a new series that I continue to do I'm probably only going to do one a month so that um, it's something that everyone would like to see and I would hope that it becomes something new here on the YT so as I did in the initial video, I'm going to show you my look, I'm going to show you my nails, and then I'm going to show you all of the products that I use. So I'm going to try to talk a little bit faster because this is not a video that needs to be long. So let's start off with the nails. These are what my nails look like. And these are the designs. And as you can see, my left hand is definitely much longer than the right. And that's because I cut the right hand nails down. So that's what those look like. And here is the left hand. Okay, so let's go on ahead and show you what I use for my nails. I always use... Um, out the door top coat as a base coat as well as my top coat and I will have a picture right here because I do not have it in the room with me so for this nail that you see here the first color that I use is this Zoya polish and I'm gonna have to put my glasses on so that I can see everything this Zoya polish is called uh, Ragwan Satin. And that's what it looks like. And I just apply one coat just to give myself a base. And over the top of that, I use this Revlon Textured Nail Polish in Moroccan Oasis. And that is what it looks like. Let's see. And there is a swatch of it. And it is a textured polish, but I decided to go over it with the out the door top coat. Now, for the rest of the nails, I use my UNT peel off nail, uh, nail base. And this allows me to peel off the polish really quickly so I don't have to use a lot of acetone. And then the polish color that I used was this Wet n Wild polish through the grapevine. That's what it's called, through the grapevine. And here is a swatch of it as well. And I did an ombre effect with 
the Zoya nail polish and you should be able to see that on my nails at the same time okay for some of the nail art I always use my Omega Lab brush on nail glue and then I have these wheels that I brought from Amazon and this first wheel here is some teardrops and I just picked certain colors out of there so as you can see that's what that nail looks like and then we have it on the middle finger here then I use this nail wheel of pearls and I just added that to the nails as well with the same glue I have these rhinestones that you should see in there and I picked out some of the blue ones and the pink ones and I hope that you can see that from there I got from the Born Pretty store this is some raw uh, glitters and the colors are gold blue red gold blue and red yes and then you have large and small ones so that's what that is and so those are the nails so I'll give you another look at everything and my thumbs I just kept playing okay so now I'm going to zoom in hopefully I'm gonna do this the right way and I'm going to show you my makeup look so we have the brows and as you can see with this glitter finger I did that on the eyes as well as using color underneath I do have on some highlight and blush I'm going to have to adjust the uh, lighting so that you can see it better and then I have on my purple lipstick okay so with that I use for my foundation my Smashbox liquid halo foundation in the shade number nine the powder that I have over it is the absolute New York powder in the color sable like that the highlight that I have on my face is Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, golden glow that's what that color looks like 